welcome back, or welcome back, but just welcome to the LDM show. It's another week, another dollar, I guess. Um, but if you guys are uh, enjoying yourself, it's been a beautiful day besides that one, one or two days this week that was kind of cold. Mm-hmm. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with a beautiful sincerely uh can i say lyrics or garcia or so well sincerity lyrics is my instagram but my name the name i go by is sincerity Sincerity. yeah there we go sincerity (laughs) forget all about all the rest of the stuff you you uh you're hearing (laughs) but um first of all thank you for coming of course i know you know you like pretty much a youtube and all the sensations like everybody's like oh, I, see, nah, yeah. I see you going <laughs> I, I see you going to all these other places yes and i'm like yeah, yes. wow she's busy <laughs> a little bit i just came from a photo shoot actually oh so my I was god like, yeah i was like oh my gosh i gotta get there in time and then i lost the address i don't know how but i got here hey. i remember i had to take the four and then i was like i remembered <laughs> hey, as long as you got here yes. it's okay um but again thank you for coming thank so you. Um, but tell me a little bit about yourself before we, we go on. So I'm MC from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I, know, I know we're in the Bronx right now, but yeah, Brooklyn's but in the house. I got well. love for the Bronx, so, you know, it's about New York City. Is it, yep, yep. And um, I, my background is Ecuadorian, actually. Okay. So I am, my family is from Ecuador. I actually was living in Ecuador. I just came back in August, wow. and then I went on tour in Uganda. Mm. I came back and I'm just like I'm just doing what I'm just doing what I love to do and wow. uh, I'll be going to Colombia soon on oh tour my God. so you're just yeah. doing all the Latin places huh I was like well Uganda's in Africa and now I'm going to Colombia I was in I'm Ecuador to, Uganda I'm saying you are Ecuador yes and now I'm going to Colombia Columbia. so she's gonna try to do a little, a little Latin. but wait a minute you're from Brooklyn yeah you're Latin mm-hmm. and you rap and I rap. <laughs> uh, that that doesn't go. <laughs> what do you mean? No, yes it does. No, for me it does. Oh, yeah, I am that, you know. For you it does. But it's you know it's kind of strange because a female Latin rapper from Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. You rarely see that. I think we just don't hear it. I think a lot of times, even when I rap, people are like, "Oh, you rap like a dude." I'm like. No, I don't. I rap like me. Like, what does rapping like a guy? You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. Like rapping like a, like a dude. Like, they'll say, that's, like, oh, that's you like, like, like a man. Like, when people be like, oh, you're acting black. What? Well, like, that's it's like people, <laughs> like, they make it seem like a compliment, but it's like, no, like, women hold it down, too, you know? I'm Come actually on. part of a collective called Rhyme Like a Girl, and mm. all of us rap. So all these dope women that rap, it was started by Tony Blackman who is the first hip-hop ambassador for the State Department. And wow. she's my mentor. Shout out to Tony. You know what? We're going to have to get them to our event. We have an event. <laughs> what is it, August? Nothing But Women Power? It's Nothing But Women Power 5. This is the fifth year we're doing it. Nice. we got to get y'all females onto that stage, you know? <laughs> it's a free concert we give to the people to empower a woman. This year's uh, theme is the first time women's voting. So, you know, mm. we're going we're gonna to have, like, a fake voting booth there and, People signing in that they got came to see the to the CD uh, concert, but yeah. we would love you guys That's to be dope. there because rappers and y'all all together, that yeah. is that is something that is rare. And the reason why I said it's rare because you're from Ecuador. Yes, my family is from Ecuador. I represent Ecuador rapper. to the fullest. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You go to Ecuador, you see a lot of dope yes. MCs. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yes, I like yes, that. Yes. A lot of dope yeah. MCs. And um and one of my one of my goals and one of my visions is to put Ecuador on the map. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like is to really put Ecuador with like, oh snap, like it's talent. Like, I know there's talent in Ecuador, yeah. but people don't know about this little country the size of hey. Nevada. And there's a lot of talent. There's a lot of beautiful places, a lot of beautiful people in. And, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. And, I, and, I, and I hold it down for my people. So There you go. But I, I know there is uh, a lot of talent out there that people don't know from mm-hmm. from other countries. For and sure. W- when they come here to New York, they they just, like, outdo themselves or outblast themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, but... When did you realize you were an MC? Oh, man. So, <laughs> I I get well, my brothers were a big influence. My oldest brother was a DJ, and he's a lot older than me. He, lo- he took care of me. My other brother, Marlon, he would always be rapping and all that at mm-hmm. home. So, it was like, you know, it was just part of 
apart from growing up, let's say, in my mother's side, especially, like, right. salsa and Latin right. music, because I love my salsa and I love my Latin music, mm -hmm. um, then I also had, like, being from Brooklyn, and it was just part of Brooklyn culture, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Things. Like, you can't escape hip-hop if you're from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's... So that's how it was. And even and I did live between New York and Massachusetts. So I would go back and forth. Oh. My mom was in Ma Massachusetts. My dad was in New York. So I was always back and forth. But I was always very, like, like just hanging out outside, like, with my friends on um, in Bedside and Quincy Street between uh -oh. and Tompkins. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, with my friends, like, we were rapping the stool. We would have a lot of fun just, mm -hmm. like, rapping and doing hip-hop so that was a big influence and i always loved to rap now i didn't consider myself like an mc mc until i ran it i want to say i ran into tony blackman and ron like a girl and it was like um it was just i started going to her workshop she had like freestyle workshops at the time so i started going to her workshops and it was like I really was able to evolve and identify my flow and identify my style and had a supportive community around me. So Wow, that, that is something to, to hear. And Are you the only girl in the family? Yes. Well, that's another influence right there. <laughs> you know, it's like you yes. want to do whatever your brothers are doing. And, 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 Sports, and it, yeah, <laughs> whatever, yeah. It just blends in. Because I'm like, okay. She was like her big brother, but no sisters. She didn't say nothing about no sisters. No, so. I have sisters in Ecuador, but I actually right, didn't right. meet them until, like, so, I was in the dark. Believe me, I have brothers and sisters that I didn't meet until, like, well, two of my brothers I met two years ago, a year ago. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I understand that part. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's just, when you're the only female, mm -hmm. I guess, it, it, it came out and it, and it worked out good for you, for you that is. You yeah, know? I mean, I, I loved it. I loved now you playing your brother sports now? and yeah, rapping. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> no, I, don't, I actually would You know he's watching like, mm -hmm, girl, you better not be saying <laughs> I battle. I would love to do, I spoke to him about it last year. We just got to get to it. But I would love to do. Um, a collaboration with him? Do Yeah, like he's not actually rapping, like doing it, pursuing it. Right, right. But he still loves it. So I actually was thinking of doing a, like a Mother's Day thing for my mother. Oh, wow. And have us do something for my mother, like as a gift. Yeah. Oh no, that would be. Like that. Yeah. That would be good. Maybe your mother won't really understand it too much. Well, probably. You know? I mean, we would but do she in Spanish. Still, I rap in yeah, Spanish. Yeah, yeah, but she'll still love it because it's something. Oh you know, yeah. From the heart no, and she's stuff like that. Of me. Yeah. She's proud of me, and so, you know, oh. me following my dreams. So, and that's very important. So, too. in between these tours, when do you have time for you? I mean, I really listen. I came back from tour in Uganda, and it was mm. like. Back to the New York hustle, back to New York struggle. I actually be rapping on the train platforms and stuff. I work at a restaurant. Wait, wait, I wait, do wait, like wait, wait. <laughs> rewind. We you rap in the train. Mm -hmm. So you know everybody gonna be like they, they gonna just look at her like, oh yeah. she's rapping. My bad, my bad. Because you never really see beautiful girls on a train rapping on the platform. On a platform, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's rare. So that's. A bonus, so, you know. You know what? It took a lot for me to get out of fear, to get out yeah. of what are people going to say, what if I see people I know, and it happens all the time. I see people I know all the time, and it's the total opposite response. I thought people were going to be like, oh, my God, she's begging for money, or oh, my God, like, what is she doing? You know Did what? she go on tour? Like, how is she rapping on the platform? Like, all of these thoughts but, came to my head, and none of it was fact. Because if anything, people are like, yo, you're so brave. You're so courageous. Like, yeah. you're doing what you love to do. You're going to make it. And it's like, when I'm out there, apart from getting money, it's, it's like so much more than that that I get. Because it's people's affirmation, confirmation of just like, keep doing your thing. Like, you're going to yeah, make if it, you, girl. If, and for any artist, if you really want to break off of that shyness or something. Oh, yeah. Working on a platform. What? <laughs> you know. And then the patience. Because you be rapping or talking or something, and they just passing right by you looking at you, and you're like, well, I, I think I'm one of those. I would like, hit them with the mic. Well, you don't see me put somebody. <laughs> no, like, I am I feel blessed. Actually, shout out to Sarah Canguzo. I be out there with her. She's a violinist from Brazil. Right. And um, so we put the hip-hop tracks. She plays the violin on top of the track, and then I'll be rapping. No, we, we're going we're gonna to bring them back because 
the last violinist that we had was a couple years ago, and she went on Nothing But Woman Power, I think number two. Mm-hmm. She blew them away because, first of all, she's a female. Mm-hmm. And when you hear violin, everybody's going to be like, here come the classicals. But no. Nah. She was like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. And she blew it away. Uh, but then she went on tour and everything. And I think she's coming back, but not for the uh, um, Nothing But Woman Power. We try to give other people chances. You know? Right. But uh, we... We love the the difference when they do something like that. Oh yeah. You know? So, and and Sarah, <laughs> it was definitely at first out of Sarah's comfort zone, but she was so forced. She was like, "Let's do it," because you know. I could I could imagine you doing it. And do you ever like your mind just go somewhere and you be forgetting you're in the train? Like, you know what? Whether I have a crowd of people there mm-hmm. or whether people are walking by, I just um, in my mind. I have an audience there, and I'm performing, performing. And when I'm there, I'm creating the stage, and it's like nobody could tell me. Not. Like, I'm a, I'm a go hard regardless. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's important to me. And it just takes me back to when I was a little girl. I always knew I wanted to perform. I always knew I wanted to be an artist. <laughs> like, I would literally, like, get my, like, do my hair when I was like a little girl. Play dress up and get in front of the TV. I wouldn't turn it on. I would just start singing or rapping or whatever, and oh performing in front of the TV. And I'm like, and sometimes when I'm on the train platform, I you think of that, that and I just remember that. I'm like, I said I would rap in front of people. I said I would perform in front of people, and I'm doing that. And no, but, if there's but, but no you, small stage, there's no big stage. Yeah, like, but you're Latin. Your, your mom never ever told you, Mira, ven acá. Canta pa los lo, lo niños or uh, for your uncles or something. They ne- they, she never did that? Oh like you my never God! Had yes. Performing the sala, like you just. She actually did. I remember there was See, like I know that. Like a novella or something. <laughs> when there was a no, I wish she would have put me in vocal classes when I was younger, because I, you know, I was taking music and all of that, and then I stopped. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so I do want to go to singing. Like I do mm-hmm. want to take vocal lessons and all of that. Um, cause I think I'm very capable. I think everything. Hey, we, we know a vocal artist capable. called, uh, Eve Soto. She's, yeah. She does a lot. She does the vocal, um, for American Idol and people nice. like that. So. Okay. You can always hook up yeah. with her. And she's, <laughs> matter of fact, I think she is in Brooklyn. Okay. She's dope. In, from, in Brooklyn. She was on one of the shows the other day too. And she's going to be having a segment on, on. Yeah. Network, so. I know with, with this thing, even with, with rapping, even though I've loved to do it my whole life, if it wasn't for having like other MCs around me pushing me or telling me like you know like my flow has improved my style is my own and it's just something that I wouldn't have been able to do it with a support system one way or another whether it's your boys whether it's my mentor whether it's you know and I'll be rapping with the guys like if y'all heard of legendary cyphers or y'all heard of nocturnals Mm -hmm. like these ciphers that be going on in the streets, like, I'll be in there with all the guys. <laughs> and, you know, and it's all love. Like, those are my brothers, for real. I'll tell you this much. We're going to find out a little bit more about the cipher and <laughs> how, as a female, she's um, battling with the guys. So. I wouldn't say, but I don't battle. I don't like to battle. No, no, but I'm saying, saying, like, staying up with them. Like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Keeping that vibe. But we'll be right back with more. And stay tuned. Just don't go. go. And this is an empire, holy ground, Mayan, Iroquois, Taino, Incan. Those are my bones buried under this soil. So you're spitting poison when America comes out your mouth like a symphony composed 
by the killer. So now I deal you words to swallow. I never left my land, it was taken from me. Yet I created beauty, I lived the betrayal of the white man who said he was my friend and left me naked. And still I call this nation friend with hopes that twisted ideology will be reversed, that sanity will have its course, that sanctity will be required to have a place in any office in the United States where my life is at stake. My autonomy never recognized because it was always in the hands of power, of an oppressor, of colonization. My hope is paradise. The day when I will see God's face, it's a paradox the way I still fight for change in my lyrics. My soul craves justice, justice is never tasted. Speak me no sincerity and I spit these verses to my peoples, for all peoples, with an accent I'm no longer ashamed of. And welcome back to the LDM show. And like I said, uh, you know, normally 15 minutes, the person's gone, but we're having a good time and we're yeah. talking. So we're going to keep <laughs> on going, you know, and talking to you a little bit more. But before the commercial break, we were speaking about how you staying up with the guys, first of all. Rap is was more like a guy, you know, for the guy things. And, and, mm. Until <laughs> until my, my girl, Queen Latifah, came in and knocked everybody's, you know, dream of only a guy rapping and then ever okay. since then it's been like <laughs> a lot of the great females coming out of it yeah but it's still somewhat of a man's type of world like do you feel it's that definitely or? male dominated i mean and that doesn't mean that there are no good women who are mcs it just means that it's male dominated like right. you see more men even when i'm rapping on the platform people will already be comparing me to like card stuff. i'm like I love Cardi B. I don't got no problems with Cardi B. I, I, yeah. And I'm, and I'm, you know, I come from a different experience than Cardi B. Like, my lyrics are different than hers, but I still listen to her music. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, competing. And, it, and right. a lot of times it always feels like it's people trying to make women always compete against each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and I'm, I'm coming mm -hmm. literally from a, a woman's collective where... The, it's very intentional to support each other and help each other be better, not just as an MC, but in whatever you're going through, you know? So, true. Um, so, your raps, are they based on the Latin culture, like your family and what you've been through, or are they more urban, um, hip hop type of thing? Everything. Everything. Like, Everything. So you're going to rap it one one day. I got hit by the chancleta. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. No, I would love I to do it. I my mother had the whip. <laughs> you know what's funny? One time I was freestyling with, with, um, with a brother. And, and one time I was freestyling at the Cyphers and Nocturne. And we started, I don't know how I got to that. Yeah. But people started talking about their beatings. Like when they used to get... <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny because I was brought up <laughs> chancleta, chancleta. all of that. <laughs> I, 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 I always wanted somebody like to rap about that, you know? Cause no, like it's, it's it would be so. <laughs> it would be funny in a way, but it'd be a, a good, good rap, idea. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the Latin people would understand, you For know? Sure. They call it pao pao. They call it chancleta. That's you know. Yeah. Um, and then, like we had everything um, from whips from. You know, yeah. But I'm, I'm lucky. I'm one of the ones that only got hit once. Um, oh no! Yeah, my brothers and stuff. <laughs> because every time my brothers used to get hit, in a, I don't know if it's in everybody's family, but in the Latin family, one get hit, everybody else starts getting getting hit down the down the line. So <laughs> I used to be the one that run to the room and be like, "Oh, I'm studying. I don't know what's going on here." <laughs> It's funny because flex, flex. <laughs> I used to have, um, we actually didn't have like doors for bedrooms. My mom just put like cortina, like curtains. Oh. And then so I was used to just run around in circles, like running away. No, uh, no. Nah, nah. My, 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 my mom did, me to close my mom did that to my us. brother. He said, oh, you want to be locking doors out here. One day he came in, the door was down and he had a curtain up. Hilarious. So let me see you lock this door now. Hilarious. There's no <laughs> privacy in the Latin home. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> But it would be nice that if someone can come out with a, a rap like that. Yeah, Maybe no, I've done about. some Spanglish stuff. So with Rhyme Like a Girl, we we have a single coming out. I can't give you the dates because I don't know the dates exactly. Right. But um, but I do some Spanglish there and all that. And it's, mm. it's part of who I am. You know what I'm saying? Both speaking Spanish and both um, culturally as a Latina in New York mm. and also as an Ecuadorian Latina. So that's just a little bit of more spice to that. Latina element, you know what I'm saying? That is, that is, 
it would be brand new to the people. But at the same time, there's a lot of people be like, you know, Ecuadorian little girls or Ecuador people in, in Ecuador or here in New York, they'll be like, Oh, snaps, he's Ecuadorian, you know, like, Rico Suave is Ecuadorian, but nobody even knew. Yeah, like, where is he anyway? <laughs> he actually, he became a Christian rapper. His, yeah. Um, uh, Gerardo, I think Ortiz is his real name. Yeah. I, I think it's Gerardo, but he was actually living in Ecuador, because when I was living over there, people would tell I me remember he that. was out there. Yeah, I, uh, he was living Rico. in Ecuador. <laughs> he was doing Christian rap. And, where? um... And I think he came back to the U.S. But he was in Ecuador. He had, yeah, we gotta find he had moved to Ecuador. He yeah. was doing music out there. And but I, 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 I won't be me if I don't ask you this. Will you ever rap and diss Trump for his stupid things that he does? I mean, I've done poetry. I'm a spoken word artist as well. So I've, I've, you'll hear it. If you, there's a poem called I Am a Remnant mm. on YouTube. And there's a poem called Speak Me. Mm. And that is... <laughs> That is on YouTube as well. If so you don't find it, we're going to put it on our website because yeah. I, I and bump it's not into specifically to him, but then you'll hear, you'll know why, why? I say that's what you need to okay. listen to. We want because to listen we, to my we, we have a, a lot of, uh, I bumped into a lot of Spanish rappers and stuff like that, and I asked them, like, you know, because as a Spanish rapper, you want to rap what's going on in your life. Like, we have mm -hmm. the black rappers, they will be like, oh, you're killing um, us with the cops and all that. You know, they be talking about the cops. Mm -hmm. Why don't the Spanish rappers talk about and that's so relatable to us at the end of the day you know right, there's a saying. lot of stories of a lot of our stories aren't heard period and um you know the fear of being deported and all of that what happens in the community psyche mm -hmm. and even if you were born here or if you do have your documents you know people that are undocumented yeah. if you are latino you know, I feel like 90% of the time you know people. And what happens is, like, even when it's not you getting deported, it, it's still your people. So when you hear that there's raids and that there's this and that there's that, mm -hmm. it, still, it still affects you, you yeah, know? Yeah, big time. And, um, yeah, like, and I'm very clear of the privilege that I have even just by being born here. Mm -hmm. Of thinking, well, if there is a raid here, they're like, I don't have to worry about being deported, That's but good. my friends could be, or co-workers, or whatever, you know, and, Man, and how does that affect the family dynamic, and then there's just so many layers, we could go from the, you know, we could talk about the border, we could talk about just people being undocumented, overstaying their visa, there's just so many, there's, we, I, can, I think... we can even go down to, like, just as simple as kids going to school, and being bullied every yeah, yeah. day you know what i'm saying and but I, I think i day. think the the one that when people come in because a lot of people don't know you can come here for three months i think it is yeah. um under a visa visa yeah but sometimes they stay a right. little longer because maybe they found a job or something and they can't get that paperwork in right away there's a lot of other reasons it's not just yeah. because they wanted to and said hey you know screw that and they they in the streets no yeah. they're doing something um and i think that's where they need to change that they need to look are you undocumented? Okay, but you've been working and paying taxes. Okay, cool. Let's let me help you out. Yeah, and there's this, there's just a lot of ignorance behind that. People think that undocumented people don't pay taxes. Two minutes. Or people think that um, there's just a lot of ignorance. Like you said, most most people actually overstay the visas. Most people do mm -hmm. not cross the border. People. Yeah. Most people actually over coming in airplanes. I I, 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 know, I know a lot, a lot of people of that think that, and I'm like, no, 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 no. That. They do come in that um. Uh, work visas or visit yeah. visas. You actually, from my knowledge, at least from a couple of years ago, I'm sure it's stronger the laws now, but like you actually cannot become a citizen if you cross the border. So all the Latino people that mm -hmm. are citizens, they actually, like, they didn't come here illegally, mm -hmm. whatever yeah. that means. Yeah. So there's I, I, not a lack of listen. knowledge around that topic. And, but we just need somebody to rap about it. But since you said that, we're gonna put those <laughs> we're gonna put those videos up on there um, okay. to talk yeah, about those that. Yeah, my spoken word, my poetry. Oh my God! See, and, that, and that's good. We got it. We got a. Uh, I got. Um, I'm gonna send your name to one of our sister shows, okay. which is SWB Sweetwater Baby. Okay. Um, she does um, poetry in the Bronx. Nice. It's uh, I think it's every Wednesdays or every other Wednesday, something like that. She, mm -hmm. she you know, they rent out a, a little uh, lounge. Okay. And a bunch of uh, spoken word people go in there and then just 
you know. Nice. So it, I mean, it's good because a good network. You know, you get to meet everybody else that's mm-hmm. doing it and stuff like that. So, and uh, she got a good, you know, good uh, viewing and stuff like that. So, you know, so maybe one day you can be there and be like, oh, I know her. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, again, Latin. You guys are, are watching pretty much history because she's a Latin female, a rapper from Brooklyn. So. From Brooklyn. <laughs> Don't hold it against her, though, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I was like, don't hold it against her because people like Brooklyn? No, no. But no, I, love I love Brooklyn. Love I love Brooklyn, too. Brooklyn all day. Uh, so. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah I'm, in, I'm in two big events in Brooklyn every year. I do teen, um, June team every year, and then I do uh, out with the PD every year. Okay. Um, and people are like, but you're in the Bronx. Why you don't do it over here? I'm like, um, because they show me mad love over there, and... They signed me up for, for like three years, so I've been doing it for four. <laughs> you know what? At the end of the day, you leave New York City, and people confuse Brooklyn and the Bronx all the time. All the time. At the end of the day, we got to hold each other down. L- listen, like- and, and put it like this, period. When you say New York City, the only thing they talk about is um, Bronx and Brooklyn. That's it. <laughs> Queens and all of them. They, they, people don't oh, even you- know that Harlem is part of Manhattan. Yeah. Like, it's like... We lit- New York is literally our world, and you know, mm-hmm. like playing around, be like, yeah, the Bronx, ah, 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 but yeah, it's yeah, all right. love over it's here. A, it's <laughs> all love. So, uh, what is your next? Um, I'm going to Colombia. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm going, going to, to Colombia. Colombia. I'm so excited. I leave. Well, the tour begins May 13th and it goes to June 5th. Mm. So I'm gonna be working on some collaborations out there. The tour starts in Cali, Colombia, and it ends in Bogota, Colombia, which is the capital. Wow. And I'm just really excited to be able to collaborate and do um, hip-hop in Latin America and just mix so many different flavors. I'm all about collaboration. You know, I grew up between here and there, and it's just like, I just, like, this is what I grew up. Like I said, salsa and hip-hop. So when I think of whether it's folklore, whether it's, um, marimba or whether it's percussion or you know like all mm. different types of percussion and, and dance and just um, part of our culture to me it really brings me joy just the idea of collaborating in that way and putting hip hop in there and and they do that you know in Latin America hip hop is in salsa hip hop is in folklore is in everything so that's true uh, is universal. What, what type of music <laughs> besides Sp- um, Spanish and everything what is your I say your best decade of music. Like, what was the, the your favorite decade? I was such a old so always. Like, I was always listening yeah. to '90s when I was in high school. She said old school, old, old soul. School she 90s. said I'm an old soul. <laughs> I listen to '90s. I thought I'm, she was gonna bring like the '40s and '50s or something. I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about Lauren Hill, oh, okay. Nas, and um. And <laughs> and Jay Z and, okay. and you know like that that's what for me like I grew up on that but then there was the era of like southern music and I wasn't really vibing with that too much when it came out. Okay. Um, I like like Ludacris, but I didn't. I wasn't really into southern music like that. I was always so very like East New York. Yeah. So that's kind of like the era that I grew up. Oh. Lil Kim, of course, was oh. a huge influence on me. Um, and like I mentioned, my older brother, he used to, right. he had a lot of music. So I used to also listen to Salt and Pepper and and people that was before my time. Right. <laughs> so, All right. Yeah. Well, we're gonna take a quick break, and when I come back, we're gonna play a little game here and test out our uh, our <laughs> knowledge of some music. So we'll be right back. Radio station in the world. In the world. Is right here. Right now. LLDM Radio.
Glory, hermanita, little sister, you are beautiful. Hello and welcome back to the LDM show. Right before we left, we were talking about the 90s and stuff. So I'm going to play a little game with her and we're going to battle it out to see who knows the 90s. <laughs> I, I don't really know that much good, but this game here on the app, I don't want to say it because they didn't pay us to do it, but it's a fun game. You, once the uh, song pops up, if you know who it, who it is, you'll press it before I can press it. All oh, right? Where do I press? You'll see it. This is the 90s. Let's see if we can put the volume up. <laughs> no, no, go sign. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, TLC. <laughs> oh, I got that one. I got that one. That was... You guys want to say the names? No. Y'all suck. I don't know. Oh, it, all I need I is a song. I was going to that one. I was Oh, Cher. That's shit. Oh, oh, no. DJ McG... Yeah. Janet Jackson. Why, why take you so long to record? I don't know. Calm down. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, a lot of Meyer, Myers. <laughs> that is... Nope, that was Viva Forever. You gotta get it tired. Whoa! Madonna. I don't know this one. Okay. Oh, Texas. She got That's it right. right. <laughs> oh. oh. I love the Oh, we <laughs> A draw, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so we I guess we both know the nineties like that. But uh <laughs> or, not. <laughs> or not, right? But uh <laughs> Yeah, we, I guess we press at the right time. But um, you can 
find that on the line, but I'm not going to tell you because they don't pay us until they sign that contract. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, so you're going to be doing the tour, yes. everything. Tell them where, uh, your Facebook, Instagram, and So all my that. Instagram is Sincerity Lyrics. And I'll spell that out. Because some people call me Serenity. I'm like, that's not Serenity. it. It's Sincerity. Sincerity. S-I-N-C-E-R-I-T-Y-L-Y-R-I-C-S. You and I-T-Y. Lyrics. You and I-T-Y. No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, again, thank you for coming. Thank you so We're much for having nice me. We had a nice time. Uh, wish you all the luck on the tour. Let Thank us know when you, you get back. I I'll watch will. It. I, know, will. I cannot wait. Tell us. Give a little voice, video message. And we'll I put it up. Um, because it's Colombia. That's Colombia. You will not make it out if they don't like you. So that's a good place to be. Uh, um, what? Listen. It is. I'm from Colombia. Don't say that. I love it Colombia. is. No, no, I'm talking about they, they like, they real passionate with their music and oh, stuff yeah. like that. That's what I'm saying. So if they don't like you, oh, oh they're going to tear you I'm apart. Not, you, you know, know what I'm saying? funny? I was doing collaboration in Colombia before I'm even yeah. there. So, so I'm really that's excited. That's good. That's good. And, but, uh, yeah. and it's beautiful. Go see the sites. Especially the, your, your, the last one is on in the uh, Campo? Or and, the, no, the, no, no. So I'm actually really excited to go to Cali because that's like... They call it the home of Salsa, no, uh -huh. and Cali is where a lot of the Pacific Coast Ca is where Cali a lot is of actually music from Colombia stems from. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to go there. Uh, La Suca was performing there one time. Uh, she performed there. Uh, Celia Cruz. Yeah, she Celia, performed yeah. on there. Uh, I, I think don't know Celia Cruz. she's. Uh, I mean, God. she's performed all over the world. Celia yeah, but Cruz I think did. she was more there because oh, she, she loved yeah, yeah. the salsa. Cause she was she used to do all that stuff there, and that's when she uh, broke the, uh, the door down from the men thinking they were all salseros. Listen, you know? salsa is like hip hop in a lot of ways. Storytelling, when you mm. think of you know the initiation yeah. of salsa, storytelling, male dominated, but you know. It's all good. We here. <laughs> but again, thank you guys. Follow her, uh, check us out, and um, we'll keep you updated with everything possible. Uh, I'll make sure my PR gets with you guys to okay. see if you can come to the Nothing But Woman Power okay. and to get your guys back up here with the violin and all that. Oh, my. Definitely. Yeah. We'd love to see I a performance. Violinists, yeah. To see a performance, guys. So, nice. But anyway, uh, next week, check us out. But also remember to watch us on BronxNet. And um, check out my new podcast every uh, Monday on the LBM Radio. So, we'll see you next week.